one of my patients. She was gonna have a hysterectomy, and she had to make the decision about whether or not to keep her ovaries. And that's a pretty personal decision. Do I keep my ovaries? Do I not keep my ovaries? I'm hearing so many different things. She came to me and said, what do I do here? Shared decision making is simply having the doctor and the patient share in what's right for the patient. So shared decision making really involves two elements. The first thing is making sure the patient has an informed choice. And the second part is making sure the doctor hears the preference of the patient. Physicians for the most part think they're, they're really good at doing shared decision making. In other words, we all think that we spend enough time with our patients to explain to them what their various options are. So the studies show physicians think they do a great job, but they don't. It's not because they don't want to, they want to do a good job at shared decision making. But there's a whole bunch of barriers to being able to do that. One of them is time. Second one is lack of skills on how to get the information out of the patient of what their preferences and values are. Third is not having some tools at hand that can be helpful. So that's where shared decision aids come in to the shared decision making picture. They're designed to take people through the decision making process based on the user's responses. So that the patient really has visibility to what his choices are and what the risks and benefits of each of those choices might be. So a provider now can prescribe it in a printed version in the office. They can prescribe it by emailing it to the patient. So we've opened up the arena such that it can be, they can be used in a whole host of different places rather than just in the exam room. Half of the deal is taking the right information and getting it to the patient. The other half is getting the patient's response to that information mixed with their own preferences and values back into the clinical system so that it can be used in making good clinical judgments about what's right for this patient. We were able to go through the shared decision point together that showed her the evidence, some of the facts in really plain language, but then really brought in her values and her preferences. And you could just see the sense of her relaxing as she thought, wow, this is my decision. I've been given the tools to make, but I'm being given the power to make this decision. And she just felt so positive, um, so empowered. Um, it was a really cool moment for me.